Hi everybody, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this cute little amigurumi bear. Okay, so for this pattern, you're gonna need some yarn. Obviously, I like to use a cotton yarn or a bamboo yarn, something that isn't too fluffy, works really well for amigurumi. So I'm gonna make a little purple bear for this one. And I'm also gonna need a little bit of white yarn for his belly as well. Um, you're also going to need some toy stuffing, so get yourself some toy stuffing. We've got some toy stuffing, and it's also a good idea to have some toy eyes as well. These are six millimeter toy eyes, I think. Yeah, these are six millimeter toy eyes. Um, I do sell these on my website, but I'm currently out of stock. But you can use black yarn as well uh, for the eyes, or some brown yarn, because I'm going to use some brown yarn for his little nose. So I've got some brown cotton yarn as well which I will thin down. And it's also a good idea to have a little bit of felt as well. So I like to use a little bit of white for around his nose. So I've got some white felt there. And it's also a good idea to have a, uh, a complementary color to the yarn that you're using. So I used a bit of blue felt for this blue bear, but because I'm doing purple, I'm gonna use a little bit of pink felt in his ears as well so i've got a bit of pink felt and i think that's it other than having a pair of scissors and a yarn needle um, i don't think there's much else you're going to need for this pattern so let's begin okay so we're going to start off with the head and oh we also need a crochet hook that's also useful so i'm using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook even though this is a dk light worsted weight yarn um so but you can use any yarn and any hook size that's suitable for the yarn you're using so it really doesn't matter but this happens to be a dk yarn and i'm using a 2.5 which is a four size four uh, okay and i'm going to work eight single crochet into a magic loop now you could also use a chain four method as well. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'll show you both ways. So to do a magic circle, what we're gonna do is we do a little loop like this. So we just grab the yarn, put it over like that. Hook it over the top as if you're doing a slip knot. We're gonna bring that top yarn through. I'm just gonna bring up a little loop, twisty loop, and we're gonna grab the yarn again and bring that through the loop on our hook. Okay, and that secures a little stitch in place. We're not gonna count that as a stitch, it just secures it. Then I'm gonna work eight single crochet into this magic loop. So I'm gonna go back under and grab the yarn again. And it's a good idea to make sure that the yarn sits to the left of that little knot. Go back and grab the yarn and bring that through both loops. So this pattern's in US terminology, in UK terminology, that's gonna be a double crochet. I'm gonna go back in again and grab the yarn, again, making sure that it sits to the left of all the other stitches, okay? As best as you can. Then grab the yarn again, bring that through both loops, and sit together. Another one, grab the yarn, again, making sure it sits to the left Grab the yarn. Okay, that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So that's eight single crochet in a magic loop. Then we just pull the tail end nice and tight, and then that brings in a loop like so. But I'm also gonna show you the chain four method because I know this might be really fiddly for some people, and you might be gutted that you can't make it because yeah. you can't do the magic loop. So let's do a normal slip knot, and then we just chain four. One, two, three, and for this video may be in two parts, depending on how long it is. Single uh, slip stitch into that first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain, straight for the loop on your hook. Oops. And you've got a little loop there. I'm gonna do a little chain one, just to secure that, get a bit of leverage. Then I'm gonna work eight single crochet into the center of my loop. So I put my hook into the center. Careful not to put it in the first chain hole that it's quite big. Get it in the middle. Bring the yarn through, wrapping it around the chains, do a single crochet. 
or a double crochet in UK terminology. You want eight of those, so that's one. Open it around, two. So that's a chain four method and you can see it looks exactly the same. You can even pull in the center slightly. So there we go. So either way works fine. So you can always alternate between chain four and magic circle, it makes no difference. Then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. Slip stitch into there and chain one. Chain one. So by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of eight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. We're going to double up our stitch count from 8 to 16. We're going to start in the same single crochet we slip stitch into. So we're going to go back into there and do two single crochet. One and two. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two and two single crochet in the next stitch and so on and so forth. Repeat that round to the beginning doing two single crochet in each stitch around. So you've got a stitch count of 16. One and two. And back to the beginning. This is the last stitch here. One and Another one in the same stitch, two. And sometimes it looks like there's another stitch, which you may have heard me talk about before. This stitch here, and it's what I refer to as the fake stitch. I find it very amusing when other people call it that because that's my little terminology there, the little fake stitch here. And that's where the slip stitch from the previous rounds. You don't want to work into that. Check your stitch count is 16, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Find that first single crochet we're going to slip stitch into there. And that's what effectively becomes your fake stitch, this one, <laughs> on top. So by the end of round two, you should have a stitch count of 16. I'm going to keep increasing this way. I'm going to chain one and don't count that as a stitch, just ignore that. This time we're going to do a pattern of one single crochet, then two single crochet. One single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning, end on two single crochet. But we're going to start in the same stitch we just slip stitch into, do one single crochet, okay, just the one. Then we do two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And with Whenever you do amigurumi, try and keep your stitches quite tight so that the stuffing won't show through. Then we go back to one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that pattern back to the beginning. There's two in there. Then one single crochet. Then two single crochet. So I'm going to repeat that back to the beginning and you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, so back to the beginning, that's two stitches, same pattern, one single crochet, ending on two single crochet. One and two. Okay, that's your little fake stitch there, ignore that, find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there and you should have a stitch count of 24 by the end of round three okay moving on to round four chain one don't count that as a stitch this time we're going to do a pattern of one single crochet in the first two then two single crochet so starting in the same stitch you slip stitch into do one single crochet then we do one single crochet in the next stitch 
then we do two single crochet and it should line up with your previous increases if it doesn't you've gone wrong so one and two two in there and then back to the pattern do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch then two single crochet one and two Repeat that all the way around, doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning, end on two single crochet, and you should have a stitch count of 32. Okay, 32. So, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Okay, that's the beginning, last three stitches, same pattern. One single crochet, one single crochet, and on two single crochet. Okay, that's your fake stitch, ignore that. Find your first single crochet up here, slip stitch into there. Okay, so by the end of round four, just have a stitch count of 32, and uh, we're going to do a couple more increase rounds. So, chain one, don't count that as a stitch. This time we're going to do one single crochet in the first three. So, starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, you should be seeing a pattern now. Do one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch one single crochet, then two single crochet and it should line up with your previous increases. One and two. And then repeat that, do one single crochet in the next three, then two single crochet, one single crochet in the next three, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, you'll end on two single crochet and you'll have a stitch count of 40. So one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, one and two. Okay, you just go up to the end, end on two single crochet. One, one, two single crochet. There's your fake stitch, ignore that. Find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there. So, at the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 40. I'm going to do one more increase round for round six. So, do a little chain one. This time, we're going to do one single crochet in the first four, then two single crochet. So, starting in the same stitch, do one single crochet, then one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch, three, and one single crochet in the next stitch, four. Okay, so one single crochet in the first four this time, then two single crochet, and it should line up. Increases should line up. One and two. And then repeat that. Do one single crochet in the next four, then two single crochet, one single crochet in the next four, two single crochet back to the beginning you'll end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 48 okay so it's the eight times table we're working to so one single crochet in the next four one two three and four i just realized i got my ridicuma crochet bag in the background there's a crochet bag that I made. I'm not advertising Rilakkuma. <laughs> Two single crochet. One and two. But I am advertising my Happy Bay Crochet Kits, which you can get on my website. If you want to go check that out, I'll put a link in the description. So one single crochet in the next four, then two single crochet. Okay, so repeat that all the way back to the beginning. Okay, just coming up to the last stitch to ending on two single crochet. One and two. And there's your fake stitch. Skip that and go into your first single crochet. 
join the rounds. So at the end of that round, round six, she have a stitch count of 48. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do just one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to finish increasing, and now we need to do the length so it turns into a bowl shape. So to do that, you're just going to do chain one at the beginning, and then starting in the same stitch, just slip stitch into, do one single crochet, and we just do one single crochet, or one double crochet in UK terminology, in each stitch around. So just one in each, no increases. Okay, And you're going to keep a stitch count of 48, and you're going to do that for 11 rounds, okay? So 11 rounds, so round 7 to 17. 11 rounds. Just doing one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 48. So I'm going to do that, and then I shall come back. So make sure you slip stitch at the end, skip that fake stitch, slip stitch and chain one at the beginning for each round. Okay, so I shall do that, and I shall come back. Okay, so I have repeated that round for 11 rounds. So that's rounds 7 to 17, and hopefully it looks like something like this. At first, when you just start doing the length rounds, it'll look like it's getting bigger and a bit warped, but just keep going, and eventually it will come to look like a little bowl shape like this, okay? So moving on to round 18, we're going to do some decreases now to bring it back into shape. I'm going to start off with one single crochet in the first four, but first of all, I need to actually slip stitch the end of this round. I haven't slip stitched. Just slip stitch into there. We we'll do our little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. So one single crochet in the first four, starting in that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Do one. Next stitch, two. Next stitch three and next stitch four and we're going to single crochet two together now you may wish to do the normal decrease where we go into the next stitch bring the yarn through stop into the next stitch bring the yarn through and yarn over pull through all three that is a normal decrease single crochet decrease but it leaves a little bit of a lump so it's quite obvious that it's there so what i like to do is the invisible decrease and to do that we're going to just work into the front loops so we go into the front loop of the next stitch rather than all the way through just the front loop then straight away don't do anything with the yarn go straight into the next stitch just bend it down and go into the next front loop okay so you've gone into the next two front loops then bring the yarn through both those front loops and you've got two loops we yarn over pull through two as if doing a normal single crochet and that decreases too but it just creates a normal flat single crochet so it's much neater then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So do one single crochet in the next four. So to find the next stitch, you need to find there's the big gap. And then there's like this little bit next to it. You need to skip all of that and find this first proper stitch here. Go into there, that's your next stitch. And do one single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do our invisible decrease again. So I'm going to go into the next front loop. Then straight away, bend the hook down, go into the next front loop. So you're under two front loops. Bring the yarn through, two loops. Yarn over, pull through both loops to do a single crochet. Okay. Then go back to your one single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay. So again, the hole there. Ignore that, and this tiny little bit next to it, ignore that. You need to find the first proper stitch, is your next stitch. So, one, so just repeat that all the way around back to the beginning. You'll end on a decrease, single crocheting two together, and you should have a stitch count going back down to 40. Okay, so I shall do that then. I shall come back. Okay, just going up to the last bit again, one single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. And then we single crochet the last two stitches together. So you'll always end on a decrease. If you're not ending on a decrease, you've gone wrong somewhere. 
although you could probably bodge it to complete it a little bit. Okay, on to both front loops. There is our little fake stitch, ignore that. Go and find your first proper stitch and slip stitch into there. And you should have a stitch count now of 40. So it's starting to come in a little bit. Okay, moving on to round 19. I'm gonna do a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch. And this time we're doing one single crochet in the first three. So starting in the same stitch. Do one single crochet. Then next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. So one single crochet in the first three this time. And then we're going to single crochet two together. So front loop, next front loop. We only ever pull through two loops. And just repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next three, single crochet two together. One single crochet in the next three, single crochet two together. Back to the beginning, you'll end on a decrease and you'll have a stitch count of 32 again. So it's gone back down to 32. Okay, so one single crochet in the next three this time. One, two, three, single crochet two together. So I will do that and then I shall come back and change my battery because my battery is running out. <laughs> okay, coming up to the end of this round, one single crochet in the next three. One. two and three then we single crochet the last two together two stitches left and slip stitch into your first single crochet okay I'm gonna pause there I'm gonna bring up a loop so we don't lose our work and should have a stitch count now of 32, should have gone back down to 32. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the eyes because um, we need to secure them on the inside. And this is the easiest stage to do it at. So let's get our other little guy here. And making sure the seam is at the back, we're going to work out where our eyes are going to go. Now I placed mine, let's have a look, how many rows down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 so 14 and 15 between rounds 14 and 15 I'm going to take our little toy eye making sure the seams at the back 14 and 15 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30, 14 and 15 so these two so I'm just going to stick it in one of those stitches roughly I think that's right isn't it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and fifteen there we go so going to secure that on the inside straight away and get one of these little things now these are really hard to do so because they're safety eyes have these really hard to get little poppers on so i'm going to probably push these down off camera Nope, I did one. Yee! So just push that down. You pretty much never get these off again, so make sure you get it right. Place them in before you put the backing on. Okay, so there's our first eye. I'm going to count how many stitches roughly I've got in between the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven stitches in between. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to go in there. Get the other eye. Make sure we are happy with our positioning. So make sure they're on the right level. There we go. Happy with that. We then secure that into place with our other little washer. If I can pick it up. It up. Come on, I've got a film to do. There we go. And then we push this down. Oh, really, really hard to do. So it's the first one that's the hardest. So it clicks three times. 
There we go. I did it. I did it on camera as well. That's amazing. I come paying for my thumb is now. But there we go. Placed our eyes and now we can carry on with um, the rest of the head. Okay, so we're going to put our needle, our needle, our hook back in. Must have been doing a knitting tutorial recently. If you want to learn to knit, go check out my knitting channel. Happy Brain Knitting if you want to learn to knit. So moving, moving on to round 20 now, isn't it? So we're going to do a little chain one. And this time we're doing one single crochet in the next two. So starting in that first stitch, we do one single crochet. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. So this time it's one single crochet in the next two and then we single crochet two together. Going under those front loops. Okay, single crochet those two together and then we're just going to repeat that pattern doing one single crochet in the next two. One and two and single crocheting two together. I'm doing the invisible decrease under the front loops only. Okay, so repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next two, single crochet two together, one single crochet in the next two, single crochet two together, back to the beginning, you'll end on the decrease and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, 24. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, last two stitches, single crochet those two together. No, we lost it. Okay. Then slip stitch in your first single crochet. Okay, your stitch count should have gone down to 24. Now I'm going to move on to round 21, still decreasing to chain one, don't count that as a stitch. And this time we're just doing one single crochet in that first stitch. The one we just slip stitched into. And then we go straight into a decrease. So single crochet two together. And then repeat that pattern. So we just do one single crochet, then single crochet two together. So repeat that round, doing one single crochet, single crochet, two together. One single crochet, single crochet, two together. Back to the beginning, you'll end on a decrease and you should have a stitch count of 16. Okay, so I'll just do that and come back. One single crochet, single crochet, two together. Okay, back at the beginning, single crochet, last two together. And then that's your fake stitch. Find your first proper stitch and slip stitch into there and then bring up a loop so your stitch count should have gone down to 16 should look quite small now what we're going to do is stuff the head at this point so we're going to get some toy stuffing you can use yarn scraps and um, try to use a lighter color than the yarn you're using um, unless you're using black yarn I don't recommend using a white yarn for stuffing because it shows through so use something similar slightly lighter than the yarn that you're using. So you can use some blunt scissors to stuff it in a bit easier. Always make sure they're blunt so you don't stab yourself. So I shall stuff this head and come back. Also when stuffing the head make sure you don't distort the eyes like that. So always try and keep the eyes central when stuffing so make sure you get stuffing behind the eyes at the top as well as in front be easy to push them and someone once asked me how do you know when you've got enough stuffing in there when do you know that enough is enough you just need to make sure that it keeps its shape like that and it's not too firm you don't want to overstuff that the stuffing shows through you don't want to understuff that it doesn't keep its shape so you can probably put a little bit more in just for luck and then just make sure that it's quite squishy almost but just keeps its shape it's just enough like that and you've still got enough room to stick your finger in there and don't overstuff so there we go he's good to go so now we're going to move on to the body 
and then the rest of the pattern so hey okay, so moving on to round 22 we are going to start off with a little chain one as per usual don't count that as a stitch and we're going to do a pattern of one single crochet then two single crochets so starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into going to do one single crochet then the next stitch we're doing two single crochet so it's an increase round so one and another one in the same stitch two okay and we're going to repeat that pattern so next stitch we do one single crochet then two single crochet one and another one in the same stitch okay another one in the same stitch so repeat that round doing one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet back to the beginning and you should end on you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count back up to 24 again so it's gone back up so i should do that and then i should come back okay back to the beginning last two stitches one single crochet the next stitch and then last stitch two single crochet one and two okay two in there then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round and your stitch count should have gone back up to 24 so now what we're going to do is we're going to do rounds 23 24 and 25 we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so we're going to keep a stitch count of 24 so that's right in that yeah 24 so rounds 23 24 and 25 so three rounds three rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around so we start with a chain one don't count that as a stitch starting in the same stitch you just slip stitch into do one single crochet and we do one single crochet in each stitch around and we're going to do that for three rounds okay keeping a stitch count of 24 okay you're just coming up to the uh, end of that round and then slip stitch in your first single crochet okay so i've done three rounds one two three of just one single crochet in each stitch around so i've got a stitch count still of 24 and now i'm going to move on to round 26 and we're going to do an increase round so i'm going to do a chain one don't count that as a stitch this time we're going to do one single crochet in the first two so starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into do one single crochet and one single crochet in the next stitch and then we do two single crochet in the same stitch one and another one in the same stitch okay so there's two in there we're going to repeat that pattern so one single crochet in the next two then two single crochet one single crochet in the next two two single crochet back to the beginning you'll end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 32 okay 32 so one single crochet in the next two two for 32 then two single crochet one and two okay so I should do that and I should come back here okay, come up to the last three stitches one single crochet in the next two one and two then very last stitch two single crochet one and two Okay, two in there and then that's your fake stitch that's your first single crochet we slip stitch into there and you should have a stitch count of uh, 32 yes 32 <laughs> okay so now we're going to do rounds 27 to 30 so that's 27 28 29 30 four rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around and we're going to keep a stitch count of 32 okay so chain one starting in the same stitch just slip stitched into let's do one single crochet in each stitch around and we're going to do that for four rounds so rounds 27 28 
29 and 30. Okay, four rounds. So I should do that and I should come back. Okay, it's just coming up to the end of round four. Doing one single crochet in each stitch around, ignoring your fake stitch, going to your first single crochet, slip stitch, slip stitch closed. Okay, so I've done four rounds, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, just one single crochet in each stitch around. And it should look a little something like that. It looks like Professor Plum out of Cluedo. <laughs> so now we're going to close up the bottom and all we're going to do is single crochet two stitches together until it's closed. And that's going to be for like rounds 31 and 32. So what we're going to do, we'll start off with a little chain one. And you can use a normal decrease or an invisible decrease. It's entirely up to you. I shall do the invisible. See if I can do the invisible. So starting in the first stitch you just slip stitch into, single crochet two stitches together and do that all the way around. So the next two as well. And the next two and just repeat that until it's closed. And ending on two single uh, single crochet two together. Then slip stitch in your first decrease to join the round. So your stitch count should have gone from 32 down to uh, what's half of 32, 16. Back down to 16, I think. And then before we do the next round, though, see it's decreased considerably. We're going to stuff the body now. So let's do that. Being careful not to push the stuffing into the head and overstuffing the head. Okay, so when you're happy with stuffing the body, it should be so that when you just give it a squeeze, it just starts to pop out again. That should be how much you stuff the body. And then we're going to single crochet two together again until it's completely closed. So do a little chain one and it's probably going to be a little bit fiddly to the invisible decrease, but I'll give it a try. Starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, single crochet two together. And just repeat that all the way around until it's closed. Then when you're back at the beginning, it looks like your fake stitch going to your first decrease, slip stitch into there. Then you're still gonna have a bit of a hole left, so we're gonna cut cut our yarn because I'm much ahead left, and then just pull that through. And you still got a bit of a hole left, so we're gonna sew that, we're gonna drawstring that closed. So get your yarn needle and thread on your yarn. What we're going to do is we're just going to go into the next stitch and out through the next stitch like that. And then just keep doing that all the way around into the next stitch, out for the next stitch. Pulling gently as we go into the next stitch, out through the next stitch. And you'll see as you pull that, it, the hole begins to close. So when that's completely closed, we can then just sew and hide our tail end. So to do that, we're going to go into the body and out wherever. Just come out for any old stitch. Don't pull too tightly, you don't want to distort your project. Go back in there and come out somewhere else. Disappear on the inside and then what we do is we're going to push down the body, give it a little gentle pull, and cut as close as you can to the body, with sharper scissors than mine, it's definitely our blunt, and then the inside will just pop inside and your tail end is completely hidden. And there we go, there is the main body. So all we're going to do now is work on the arms and the legs, uh, the ears and all the other bits and bobs. Okay, so let's start with the feet first. Let's sew those on, or the arms. Should we do the arms first? Let's do the arms first. So here's one I made earlier. Little arm, really simple to do. Now again, you can do the chain four method or the uh, magic ring method. I did the magic ring for this one, and I'm going to do the chain four method 
for this one on camera and then you can compare the difference. So we're going to chain four. Just focusing on the wrong stuff. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into your first chain. I still got the right hook size. I have 2.5. Pull that through and for the loop on your hook. So you've got a little loop of your chains. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little chain one for leverage. Don't count that as a stitch. We're going to do eight single crochet into the center of this loop. So find that middle, not your first chain, the actual middle. And then wrapping it around, we're going to do eight single crochet, or in UK terminology, double crochets. So one, two, eight single crochets and hopefully if you work to the middle you should be able to pull that tail end to bring in that hole a bit. Then what we're going to do for the arms is we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around and we're going to do that for six rounds but we're not going to join, they're not going to slip stitch into there, we're going to go straight into that first single crochet that we did. Instead of slip stitching we're going to do a single crochet. So you bring the arm through and do a single crochet. One. So, and then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So basically just count to eight, two. You may wish to use a stitch marker, or you can just count to eight, three, four. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, five. And we're going to do that for six rounds, okay? Six rounds. Seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to eight six times. Eight. So that's my first time. And then I'm going to go straight into the next stitch. Don't join the round. So working in a spiral like a snail shell. One. I'm going to do my second round. I'm going to count to eight again. Two. So I'm going to do that for six rounds, okay? And there we go. Done six rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around and we can compare the bottom ends. So this is done with the chain four method and this is done with the like different colours, don't they? They are the same colour. That's the chain four method, that's the magic circle circle method. So you can see the difference like that. But there we go, I'm going to cut my yarn and we're gonna leave a little bit for sewing. I'm just going to pull that through. And what we want to do now is we're just going to sew these on. And the way I sew these on is, let's get a yarn needle. So I sew them on flat, which makes life a bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to flatten down the ends like that. Just flatten it down. And then roughly at the side, obviously, but not right up against. I usually do it one row down. Just so we've got something to work into and it doesn't look like he's hunching his shoulders. We're going to just put the needle into a stitch. Out for the next stitch. And then we're going to go into a stitch on the arm, but on the top row of stitches. Okay. Then into the body and out for the next stitch. Give a nice pull. Then into the next stitch on the arm. Okay, into the next stitch. Just do that as neatly as you can. So I'm going to carry on sewing that on nice and flat and do the same for the other side. Then I shall come back and show you the feet. Okay, so what I actually do when I get to the opposite side when that's sewn is I turn it upside down and then I'm going to secure the underneath part as well. So I'm just going to go into some stitches 
here. Oops, sorry. And then grab these bottom stitches, even if it's just the top, top bit, then back in there. Grab a stitch on the arm. Last one, grab the stitch on the arm and then what I do is you may find the arm tends to stick up a bit like that and you want it to sit sit down like that. You also may have noticed I didn't stuff the arms because you don't really need to stuff the arms. Then I'm going to go down to about here, okay, let's bring that down to there and then I'm going to grab fairly near the bottom a bit of yarn on the arm you see where I'm going with this and then go back in there and come out say on the bottom and then when you pull that it's going to bring your arm down and it'll keep it flat on the body okay and then we're going to hide our tail end okay so he should look something like that or she she looks he or she looks and then we're going to make the feet. Here's one I made earlier, little foot here. So these are really simple and quick to make. Again, I did this one with the magic circle. So but I'll do the one on camera with the four chain method. So you can compare the difference. Let's move you out of the way so you're not focusing on the wrong thing. So again, chain four. Let me do one chain. Chain one, two, three, and four. And then slip stitch into your first chain to form a loop. We do a little chain one for leverage. We're going to work eight single crochet into the center of this loop. So let's find the center. Got a hook in there. I'm just wrapping it around. So we're going to do a single crochet. Or a double crochet in UK terminology, and we want eight of those. So it's one, two, three, four, five. seven and eight okay then hopefully if you've worked into the middle you should be able to draw that in a little bit even though it's not a magic circle and then what we're going to do without slip stitching or joining the round we're going to go straight into our first single crochet so two four six seven eight straight into there and we're going to do two single crochet I think yes two single crochet in there another one in the same stitch two two in there we'll do two single crochet in each stitch around until we get a stitch count of 16 so you might want to count up to 16 so two next stitch three and four next stitch five and six Next stitch, seven and eight. Next stitch, nine and ten. Next stitch, eleven and twelve. Next stitch, thirteen and fourteen. stitch 15 and 16. Okay so you should have a stitch count of 16. Done two in each, two single crochet in each stitch around. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do one single crochet in the next 10. So go straight into the next stitch, not joining the round on these arms and legs and ears. In the next 10, so that's one, next stitch, two, next 
next stitch three four five six seven eight nine and ten so one single crochet in the first ten then we're going to single crochet two together three times so single crochet the next two together I'm going to do the invisible decrease so single crochet those two together 11 and 12 single crochet the next two together 13 and 14 And single crochet the last two together 15 and 16 okay so you should have a stitch count of 13 now should have gone down by three see it's starting to make sure it curves out that way you want to pop it out that way as well then we're going to do we're going to do one single crochet in the first nine so careful not to work into that bit that is part of the decrease so find your first proper stitch do one single crochet in the first nine so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so one single crochet in the first nine. Then we're gonna single crochet two together three times, regardless of the round. So nine, we've got 13 stitches in our round. So we've done one single crochet in the first nine. So 10 and 11, we're gonna single crochet together. 10 and 11. And then 12 and 13, we're going to single crochet together. And that would technically be the end of our round but we're going to single crochet the next two together as well the beginning of the next round okay and then we're going to stop that is the end of your little foot and i've run out of yarn so i'm just going to pull that straight through not cut it And there we go and then we just sew our little feet on there you should see that it's like a tiny little booty should have some decreases at the front here and that's the bit you want to have at the front okay that's the difference between chain four and magic circles so actually they look quite similar so i'm going to sew these on now making sure your decreases which are just to the right of where you finished are at the front and you can either have them underneath or you can have them slightly up. I like them slightly up as if he's sitting down. I'm going to sew those on and I'm not going to flatten it. I'm going to keep it round and I'm going to join all the way round in a circle. And you may want to add a little bit of stuffing for the foot halfway through sewing. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through that last stitch again to the back. To neaten off the edge okay then I'm going to sew that on and this is going to be a bit of trial and error to get this right so start about there
Okay, so about halfway through, I'm going to take a little bit of tiny little bit of stuffing, and we're just going to stuff that into the foot. And then we're going to just finish sewing that on and do the same for the other foot. Okay. So you want to stuff this as you go. positioning as you go as well. Okay so I'm going to sew this on and then I'm going to come back. Okay so there we go I've sewn on the feet with a little bit of stuffing inside and I've just sewn all the way around rather than doing it flat and uh, it could be a little bit trial and, er trial and error to try and get that in the right place but hopefully you've got something looks a little something like this. Right so next stage is the ears and here's one I made earlier again little flat ears like this. We're going to work eight single crochet into a four chain loop or you can use the magic circle tidy up to you so I've run out of yarn so I need to get some more yarn so I'm gonna do a little chain four one two three and four slip stitch into the first single crochet one two three four is over here actually And do my little chain one for leverage. Don't count that as a stitch. I'm going to do eight single crochet into the center of that loop. Find the center, just wrapping it around, do a single crochet or a double crochet in UK terminology. So it's one back into the center. Okay, if I'm not to go into that first chain, then it can look quite big. Two, three. you can just pull that in so again not joining the round we're going to go straight into that first single crochet over here and we're going to do one single crochet in there one single crochet then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet okay and we're going to repeat that all the way around until we've got a stitch count of 12. So you may wish to count up to 12. So one, two and three. Next stitch, four, just one single crochet. Then two single crochet, five and six. Then one single crochet, seven. Two single crochet, eight and nine. Then 10 by itself, and lastly 11 and 12. Okay, so it goes one single crochet, then two single crochet, all the way around, and then until you've got a stitch count of 12. Then what we're going to do, nice and simple, we're going to do three rounds, so rounds three, four and five of just one single crochet in each stitch round, keeping a stitch count of 12. So you may just want to count to 12 three times. So go straight into the next stitch. Do one single crochet in each stitch around. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> one and eleven and twelve. Okay, so I've counted to twelve three times. Okay, so you've done three rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, and then we're going to leave a little bit of tail for sewing. Just pull that through, and what you want to do is make sure this is nice and flat, like a semicircle. Okay. And we're going to sew these on and you have to get the positioning right for these ears because otherwise it can end up looking like a koala or a monkey. You need to really get them in the right position. I've found it's taken me a while to master bears to be honest. Um, but these are worked 
from one, two, three, four, five. It's from the sixth round down, okay? So you've got five clear rounds and then it's the ear is joined on the sixth round. So let's get our yarn needle, make sure it's flat. I'm just gonna neaten off this edge. Going into that stitch. That just brings it down, make sure it's flat. And I'm going to sew these on on the sixth row down. Okay. I'm going to do the same. Do it the same way as I did for the arms. I'm going to sew that side first, and then I'm going to fold the ear over and sew the other side. So I shall do that, and then I shall come back because it's be hard to do on camera. Do it this way first. So one, two, three, four, five. So it needs to start from that round. This round here. Probably easier if I start where the yarn's at the top. So it's going to be on this round. Okay. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've sewn those ears on as best as I can. I think they're okay. A little bit low, but they'll do. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little bit of felt to go on the inside of the ears. And so I've got a little bit of pink felt here. And the easiest way to do, to get the right shape is just to draw around the ear and then cut it a bit smaller. So I'm going to cut out another one of these and then we just glue them on and I'm going to glue them on with a little bit of PVA glue. Let's not promote hobby craft. <laughs> um, a little bit of PVA glue. I think in America it's called Elmer's glue, some, something like that. It's just normal kids uh, white glue. It's absolutely fine. So I'm going to cut one of these out and stick these on and they should work really well. Put a little bit of this on a brush. And you don't need very much glue. You don't want it to get sodden. So just a little bit of glue. And dab that onto the back. So this is probably not suitable for children, young children, because these little bits might come off. So if you are giving this to a child, then do check that what you're making hasn't got lots of loose bits that might come off. Okay, and then once you've got that, we're just going to stick that on. Make sure it's in the corner. And that should stay on nicely. There we go. I'm going to do the same for the other one as well. Okay, so I finished sewing on the other bit of felt on the other ear. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the little nose, which really brings him together. Now, the trick with the nose is to do the sewing onto the felt before you glue it on. So I'm actually going to sew the nose onto a tiny piece of little felt here. And you want it to be about just over a centimetre, about a centimetre and a half maybe. So it just fits nicely in between the eyes like that. So cut yourself a little bit of felt out. And then I took some brown yarn and this is just normal cotton yarn that I've just split down the middle so it's thicker. So split it to make it a bit thinner. You can use embroidery thread as well. And I'm probably gonna get a smaller needle actually for this. Probably gonna get more of a sewing needle. And then I'm gonna spread this on. Look at that first time. And I put a little knot in the end. Try and get that to the end as much as possible. Okay, let's move these guys out of the way because the camera's focusing on the wrong bit. Okay, let's try and get a little knot in the end. And then what you want to do is sew the little curve bits first and then we do the little triangle for his nose after. So to do the curvy bits, first thing you want to do is find the middle. So it's almost slightly oval this shape. So you find the middle about the middle there, come through, and then we're going to go straight over to the other side 
almost to the edge there. Okay, but before we bring that loop completely up, we want to come down to about there, above the loop, and that will catch the loop and make it smiley. And then just lifting that up, we're gonna go back in where that yarn came out, exactly the same place, and then it should should hold down the little loop to make a smile there we go and then we're going to go back in to the middle and do the same thing the other side so we're going to go over to about there but before you finish the loop we're going to just bring it up to there that loop and then to lift that up and go back in where you came out okay so that's a smile sorted so we'll curvy bits and then we just need to do the little triangle on top so we're gonna go back to the middle and I'm just gonna draw in the triangle shape as neatly as you can and then we just need to colour in what's left so neatly as you can try and colour that in should do it down to about there and there we go there's his little smile and then we can just cut that on the back you can cut it quite close to about there just so it's hidden the inside and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue this get all those bits inside and then we're going to glue that with some more PVA glue onto his little face like that okay so I'm going to glue that on and I shall come back I'm pretty much there okay so there we go so I've glued that on and that's his perfect little smile and all that's left to do is his little belly bit and I haven't actually written that down so I'm gonna have to do this bit from memory so we're gonna take a little bit of white yarn or whatever color you want to use might want to do a pink. I might do pink on camera because white might be a little difficult to see. Should we do pink? Let's do pink. Okay, I've got some pink yarn, which might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. So I'm going to do this from memory. So chain three. One, two, three. Actually, chain four. So chain four because we need three stitches to work into. So chain four. Then in the second chain from your hook, so don't count the loop on your hook, there's one and there's two. Second one down. I'm going to do two single crochet. So one and two. Okay, two single crochet in there. Then in the next chain, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then the last chain, I'm going to do two single crochet again. Okay, then we're going to do the same and go back into the chains again. So we're going to turn our work round, going back into the same chain again, do another two single crochet, and we're going to mirror the stitches. So one and two. So you end up with four in there. Then you need to find that middle 
chain so where this one is coming put your hook into there do one single crochet and then and then the last chain up here we do two single crochet one and two okay so you've got like this little sausage shape so end up with a stitch count of two four six eight ten okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to do go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet next stitch we're going to do two single crochet Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch. Then the next stitch, this one, we're going to do two single crochet. One and two. Oops, hasn't gone through properly. One and two. Then one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two, then one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, so one single crochet in the next two, then the last stitch, two single crochet, even though it sort of just carries on in a spiral. That is your last stitch, two single crochet. End up with a stitch count of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and that should do. Make sure that fits on his little belly like that. And we'll leave a bit of yarn for sewing. Let's bring that up. And then we're going to sew this on to his body. Find the yarn needle. I'm going to sew this on a little bit differently. First thing to do is go into the next stitch just to neaten off that edge. Okay, we can trim down this tail end as well so it's not getting in our way. Then we're going to sew this onto his body, so making sure it's straight. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the, the body as neatly as you can. Then we're going to come up through the stitch. This time, instead of just going, wrapping over and going back into the body, we're going to go into the next stitch on the pink bit. And then we're going to go into the body. Okay, then come up through the next stitch. And then go into the pink again. Doing your best to keep it straight. Then into the body. And just repeat this all the way around until it's sewn on. Okay. And there we go, just before I'm running out of daylight, I've sewn it on, a little bit wonky, but it adds character. And if you want, you can add with the very um, last tail end of that bit, you could add a little loop at the top. So you can add a key ring, which is what I did here. Just added a little bit of yarn there for a loop and then added a key ring. Uh, but that's entirely up to you but there we go that is the tutorial i hope it wasn't too long hope you managed to follow along don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on instagram uh happy berry crochet so you can share all your projects with me and i always showcase uh, as many of your projects as possible so uh, if you want to get your stuff promoted then do go follow me uh, otherwise check out i should write this i should be writing this pattern up on my website happyberry.co.uk very very soon and like i say do check out my whoops there we go my happy berry crochet kits at happyberry.co.uk forward slash kits to see what kits are available maybe we can even put this guy in as a kit who knows <laughs> but until then i'll see you soon some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye Get our yarn needle and which I've lost. Where's my yarn needle gone? There it is, it's hiding in the table. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? 
So starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, um, which is, for some reason I can't even see where that is. There, right, thank you. See, even I get confused, so it's perfectly normal. So starting in the same stitch you just Once we've stuffed the head, we're going to move on to row, row, round... What are we doing now? I don't even know what we're doing now. We're doing round 22, 23. Uh, see, this is where my pattern goes tits up. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it now. Stuck in my head. <laughs> Got a bit medieval. 